Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing? Hope you are well. So, Black Ops 6. Zombies. So, I want to be very clear explicitly. Uh, I am not, at any rate, a giant Call of Duty fan. But if there's one thing I have always had a soft spot in my me for is the arcade Zombies mode. And... You know, I will say that the, my favorite zombies experience up uh, so far in my life up until this point has been Black Ops 3 zombies. It had the, uh, in my opinion, some of the best movement. It had some of the coolest Easter eggs. It, uh, you know, had cool maps. I really, really liked it. Um, and, you know, while, you know, they have heralded you know, Black Ops 6 Zombies as a kind of a return to form of that heyday. So how is it? Well, you still have the health bars and, you know, that whole thing from um, uh, Cold War and things of that nature, and they've complete, and it seems that they've completely ditched the gameplay formula of um, Vanguard to a degree. But what they, one of the other things that they did is, which they incorporated, I think this is from uh, Ghosts, is the... Uh, objectives and stuff the, the objectives in each map are actually explicitly clear you can very much just pack like find the machines pack a punch get set up and be on your merry fucking way but if i'm being perfectly honest you know the 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 doing the actual like quests and stuff like it treat it feels like you have actual objectives that you can go to it's a lot more directed so there's two maps uh um uh available there's like this liberty town map and then there's this thing called terminus terminus seems to like have some i don't know what the stories of both of them are i certainly don't know what the liberty town one is is but terminus does like have mentions of you know rick tuffin group one through three you know like uh things of that nature so you know definitely the story's there um they just will not let you know the original like team die but it is what it is um but Call of Duty Zombies obviously comes down to the gameplay. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 has this new omnidirectional movement system, which is fairly cool, very fluid, very fast. And you feel fast when you're playing, but you aren't, you know, and since zombies are changed to sort of compensate. The hordes are good. But here's the difference, though. The maps have a lot more open spaces that allow you to maneuver and get around the zombies. You So you are less likely to get caught unaware so long as you keep your head on a swivel. Um, you know, the special, uh, Terminus is definitely a lot more of a closed map. There's a lot more interior spaces that you have to be in to, like, do your objectives. Um, but, you know, Liberty very much is very much in a, 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 an open map in, in ways that I think are really, really quite good. Um, also, uh, it seems that for certain machines and stuff, you don't necessarily have to turn the power on. It seems to be at least, in, at least on the surface level, um, because I, I didn't get far enough in any of the maps to do power. I got to about, like, anywhere between levels 10 to 12, respectively, before I kind of just, like, you know, I was like, okay, like, yeah, this is fine. I got the gist of it. Um, uh, new consumables have been added to the game, obviously. Uh, zombies will now drop different types of grenades, molotovs, combustibles, stun like, flashbangs that will stun them for a bit, things of that nature, as well as fireman's axes that allow you to throw them and kill inst and insta-kill zombies, which is fun, and then you have to, like, pick up the axe afterwards to be able to use it again. Um, uh, gunplay feels good. Obviously, Call of Duty games do have excellent gunplay, by and large. They uh, do a, a pretty stellar job with that, all things considered. Um, I do think that, uh, uh, you know, like the omnidirectional movement does kind of play into it to a degree. And because you're, you know, doing the vaulting and running and jumping and things of that nature, that has been the hallmark for Call of Duty today. A lot of the different aspects of the map have a level of verticality to them that allow you to, like, run, dodge, get around. Getting, or, like, the, the, there are, you know, choke points and stuff with zombies that you have to be mindful of, like nor in narrow corridor, things of that nature. But by and large, you know, so long as you're not playing stupid, you will, you know, mostly be okay. Um, 
there's a couple features that I haven't been able to explore yet, things that I'm not particularly familiar with because I didn't, you know, I have I, the most Black Ops, you know, the last Zombies game I played was uh, Black Ops 4, but things like the Arsenal and, you know, different other types of machines with perks and stuff that I have not experienced, which I look forward to getting into. Um, I will say, though, the price of the game by, by, by standard is not particularly uh, fantastic, um, all things considered, if I'm being so fucking for real. Um, you know, the, you know, the bait, I got the free, obviously the free edition because I used, uh, you know, game pass to play it, which I think honestly is the preferred way to play a game like this, unless you like are really good at going to get into the multiplayer and really get into the campaign and really get into the zombies. I think it's fine. But if you're like me and you just want this as a way to play zombies, that's probably the way to go in my personal opinion. But I will say that I'm sure multiplayer in the campaign is going to be fun within themselves because the movement and gunplay does feel so fucking solid. Um, the other thing I will say about the uh, Call of Duty zombies uh, after my first First hour with it was i will say that it it, it does have that arcadey fucking feel like it feels like arcadey and fun and you know you know and you know it does have the horror they did they did the animations of the zombies themselves are definitely quite good um and the maps are expansive i haven't been able to explore the entirety of these maps yet um they're huge and in 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 if i'm being honest particularly very good ways you know nothing no no shade no anger with it like i i'm i'm you know there's a part of me that was like not particularly happy with like the size of like certain maps being so fucking huge you know i think of like you know the remake of mob of the dead and black ops 4 for example and you know the convolutedness of um nuke town as a zombie map and the stuff going on there but you know, I understand that, you know, now that with this new omnidirectional movement and them, you know, building these maps with that in mind, it very, very much was a good time. And I have no negative things to say about it. Um, There are some other variants of enemies. They have uh, these little spiderling things. There's an arachnophobia mode for those who can't handle that. So bear that in mind. Um, That kind of morph into these flying parasites that spit acid. Um as well as more tanky zombies, things of that nature. Um, yeah, honest to God, I think they uh, did quite a good job with that. You know, the bugs, you know, usually are best handled with a shotgun. Dealing with a crowd of zombies is usually good for an automatic, you know, and, and popping things. It, they, the, 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 the spiderlings, called vermin, um tend to uh you know they tend to fulfill the crawler roles from black ops one it like them th thinking think like kino um but yeah uh i haven't i i've only played an hour i played solo i didn't play with any other people um the point system feels good uh the shooting feels good the way enemies die in a very satisfying way that feels realistic you know, and there's even like some surprises and stuff if you're not expecting it, which is quite good. So I all in all, I am very, very happy with this zombies mode, and I'm probably going to play it a bunch. I will say there are some optimization things with it. Um, It did make like I've got a pretty fucking hefty PC. It's not as you know, it's not running a 4090 or whatever, but it's running like a it's running a 2060. And, you know, it's got 30, odd, like 32 odd gigabytes of RAM. It's running a pretty sizable i7 almost i9 so you know the fact that the game was like choppy to the degree it was i'm not particularly thrilled about but i you know it's a fucking call of duty game this shit like these things aren't necessarily always going to run like butter but one of the most popular game series in the world. I I wish it did run a little bit better. I did have to put it on potato mode, sort of, to like make it so like there it wasn't as as choppy. But that's maybe that's a more of a me issue thing. But yeah, that's the gist of it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for listening. I'm gonna send you to uh I'm gonna send you to pre-recorded Evan. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash Discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating 
and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.